Hey girl. This video is for any small influencers looking to expand their social media presence with wig sponsorships. Whether you have 5 or 500 subscribers, this video is tailored to you in hopes that you can start your small time wig influencing dreams. Let's get into it. Welcome back y'all. I have missed you. I have been gone. Yes, I know. Do not beat me up. But within the next few seconds, y'all finna have learned how I have been getting free wigs, how I got free wigs in the past. I haven't had it so much recently because I have not been consistent how I want to, but baby, we are back we are better and i'm just going to keep trying to be consistent and working on that because i'm trying to find my passion and my motivation i don't just want to come on here and just make videos just to make them i want to make them when i'm more so inspired and i really have a message for you guys but y'all look the proof is in the pudding obviously like look at look at my wigs obviously all these wigs i did not get from like sponsorships and videos some of them are from sponsored videos but yes baby the proof is in the pudding but I feel like this video, I want it to be more so tailored to my small influencers like myself because when I started, these are the type of videos that I wanted to see. I want to know how I can get these free wigs, these, <clears throat> these free benefits and everything without having 20k or plus subscribers, without having such a huge platform. I wanted to figure out how could I get these same benefits that these bigger influencers are getting without being all the way up there because I am very much so qualified to give a good review before wig. But how did I get there? I'm not gonna tell you that in just a second. I'm not even gonna say too much more. I'm gonna show y'all how y'all can get these few wigs. Now, I'm not wearing a wig right now. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm trying to keep this style in as long as possible because y'all look, I got the color in the back too. Oh, my edges. But okay, we're gonna get right into the video. And also, happy late Valentine's Day. I have some beautiful flowers right here from my amazing brother. Shout out to him. So before I get started with my, like how I got there, I wanna give y'all like obviously my background. When was my first ever sponsorship? How did that go? So basically I got my, I started YouTube in June, but my videos started picking up more so towards the school year. Cause I made a back to school clothing haul, like before school had started so like the videos were popping they were getting so many views and my video got over 100k that was my first video to like really make it and that's what got in a lot of my subscribers but it wasn't from that video that really necessarily got me like the attention and the drive and the engagement in my channel is what pushed like uh companies to go and like look into me but what really got me was my first video i ever made i knew i wanted to make wig videos like i not as like my main thing on my channel obviously not because there's so much more to me than just putting on wigs but i did want to incorporate that in my channel and i wanted to get some free wigs because i am a senior so much is being thrown at me i got so much to pay for life is expensive as heck and if i can cut down one less expense being my wigs and my hair i am going to so my first ever wig video was my first video on my channel and i did a reinstall i already had that list before but obviously i was just doing a reinstall and i was restyling it because i had somewhere to go anyway so i wanted to make my first video be be that and it wasn't my favorite video but something told me i just needed to get started and after i got that video out i made more videos after that but i just needed to get started y'all just get started if that's if this if you uh haven't even started youtube yet but you want to just get started baby please i promise you just get started without being sidetracked anymore like that was my first ever video obviously i didn't get the attention that i wanted from like sponsorships and deals like that after that first video because that video got like little it got like less than thousand views but after my channel started getting more engagement i got more followers and then my channel just started prosper prospering after my channel started prospering doing amazing that is when i had got my more and more like people emailing me so in my business email, I was getting, I did get a couple of like flop emails. Like when I say flop emails, I mean like people who will reach out to you and their, just their brand and their description of what they want you to do. It just don't seem so much, it does not seem legit. Well, I was experiencing that a few times before I actually got my first ever real company who like, who was actually on it. Like it was actually about that life. They really wanted me to feature their wig in one of my videos. I didn't get that email until August 9th to be specific. Yes, I went look at it. I'll put the email on the screen. It's not much, in, nothing much, but okay, that, that sponsorship is a whole thing in itself. I'll tell you about that a little later in this video. Yeah, that sponsorship taught me a very, very valuable lesson about staying true to these companies when you're doing your sponsorship i did get some emails who they just weren't like legit like their companies were like these small amazon businesses who like had like little to no sales and as a small influencer like it's really risky i didn't want to give out my information too too much so i was being really really cautious they might have been legit but i me being very cautious and not want to just sell my information just to anybody or give my away my information my address and everything i was very very cautious but yeah like many other influencers will tell you your first couple videos they your first couple emails not videos they will flop they may just be these company maybe spammers i don't know 
some of the emails are not all legit do not just go trusting it just because you're so desperate for a win your time will come i promise you so my first ever email was august 9th they, they reached out to me i reached out to them we were communicating and they ended up sending me a wig i'm not going to reveal the company just because i'm just not going to reveal the company i ended up getting the wig i wore it this i think it was my second wig i had in the the school year i think it wasn't my first day of school wig. it was my second wig i had but i had that wig it was literally beautiful i did love it and i ended up recording the wig sponsorship like immediately after they gave me like i'm immediately but we did pick a time and a time frame for me to record a video because i had just got my hair done i'm not taking my hair just to head back out just make a wig sponsorship so i told them that i would record a video this amount of time like after these couple of weeks because i had just got my hair done i was loving my hair so i recorded the video everything went well when i was first doing youtube like i didn't i didn't have like any storage so like I was making a video, deleting video, making a video, deleting that video, making it, posting it, delete, making it, posting it, delete. And so I had ran out of storage, but I already had, so I had recorded some video. I don't know what video it was, but before I could edit it and upload it, I had wanted to, I wanted to also record my wig video in that like same air, same period, if I'm correct. So I had two videos in my camera roll and I didn't have any storage, so I could not upload my video. Like I couldn't upload my video to edit it. So because I didn't have any space, like the uploading process and everything like that, it just was not working. And I felt so bad because they sent amazing wig. They were great communication. Everything was going good. But on my end, my video, it, I was just having technical difficulties. And this is just some stuff to look out for to avoid any technical difficulties. In the end, I did end up, we did end up settling on me for more them in a certain specific way. I would not get into that, but like, yeah, it was a great sponsorship, but it's just, it was so difficult because I was still new at it and just things were not just working out how I wanted to, but over time I got way better at it. I did get some sponsorship that I am proud of, like my Unis, Unis wig hair video. That was like one of my bigger ones, but uh, I don't know, but it's looking anyway. Now we're going to get into how y'all finna get it. How am I going to tell y'all how to get this done? And my purpose of this video is just not to reiterate what everybody else already said because I was in your same boat. I was researching these videos before I was doing YouTube and this is, I knew this was something I wanted to do. But I couldn't find them from a smaller influencer. I got my first one. I wasn't even at 1,000 subscribers yet. I wasn't at 1,000 subscribers yet. I wasn't monetized. I wasn't none of that. This was like the beginning. I don't know what count I was at, but I was not even at 1,000 subscribers. And I was already getting my emails and my sponsorships. And that is because not only the fact that because my voice naturally sounds like I'm I can naturally review something and really give like my all like my true true opinion, but also I am I do have some like followers that not followers I have like a smaller subscriber count and like we're more like this compared to like, the bigger influencers. So I feel like that's a good thing too as well. But so how are you gonna do this? Number one, you need to go ahead and pick out your platform, pick out which app. Which social media side are you really gonna focus on and really gonna try hard and put your all into showing them that this is like this wig is something that you really really like obviously you can use multiple platforms like you can use youtube you can use tiktok and i say youtube and tiktok i feel like those are the best platforms when it comes to wig influencing because i just feel like they do the best but instagram is there too as well but you want to pick out your platform i use youtube ob obviously because i was just starting it and i wanted to get my video out anyway so i was like okay well i want to make a wig video i want to do wig reviews as part of the content on my channel so i did that and it worked but obviously if you're better on tiktok you got a little growing on tiktok or if you even just starting tiktok you can review wigs on there i'm not really 100 percent sure how that process goes or how often they get sponsorships but i do know that's all i see i'm not all i see but i know tiktok is really big on wig influencers and smaller wig influence influencing another tip is that you must pay to be paid i'm not talking about monetary i mean yes eventually i am going to get paid to do this because i'm not just going to keep doing my services for free but pay to get the benefits when i mean my pay i mean i had to use my own wig to start essentially start seeing those companies coming in and coming in because i obviously wasn't just gonna sit and wait for a company to send me a wig because they didn't know i knew how to do hair they didn't know that's something i do love doing so once i did my first wig video and incorporated styling and hair videos into my videos that's when i started seeing them coming in so i know if you if you want to do wig influencing, I'm almost positive you already have your own wigs. Do a wig video, incorporate it in your video, and make it as a part of your content. And the wig videos will just naturally come to you. Hopefully, fingers crossed, the wig sponsorships and everything will start to naturally come to you. And also, when you are doing these wig videos, you want to highlight the fact that you are doing a wig in the, in the title. Make sure they know, I have wig content in this video. Like, come check it out. I know how to do wigs. I'm open to, like, showing your wigs. Like, for instance, whether they get a whole bunch of views or not, these sponsorship, these people are looking for people who do wigs in general. So the video don't have to get a crazy amount of views. I know mine did. If they did not, I'll put up how much they got on, the, like, the video, how much it is on the screen. I know it was not a lot. But you don't even have to do have a crazy amount of, um, of views on it. Because I know I for sure I did not. However, make it... A good quality video when they press on it when they click on the video make sure that is 
you are this base this is essentially your ad you're basically advertising yourself to be a wig influencer so make that yo make that your ad so yes after you find your platform after you decided how you're going to incorporate wig styling wig installing into your videos make sure that you edit the heck out of the video making your best top tier quality don't slack don't just throw it up make it something that is worth somebody's worthwhile for somebody who wants to send you a free wig because wigs aren't cheap with companies they have to take all the risks so they're not just gonna want to just throw out a wig just because you do youtube you have to show them why you are a good candidate and i feel like i did that so another thing when you are doing the wig videos you need to be completely honest when you first start getting wigs and incorporate it onto your channel do not just oh this is the best thing ever this is the most amazing hair it doesn't shed it's perfect the wig is all the, the this is the best wig i've ever seen because obviously if you do like five videos like that how all these wigs are the best wig you've ever seen how all these wigs are just completely perfect i know for my videos i always um when i do wig segments and things like that i always incorporate what i love about the wig you do want to not necessarily exaggerate but sp spend special attention on what you love about the wig you want to mention the things that you feel like they could do better or the faults in the wig but you don't want to spend the whole video talking how talking down on the wig because nobody obviously if you're selling a product to somebody you're not going to sit there and talk about why you don't like it you're going to talk about why you do like it but you don't want to just completely leave out the fact that this wig is shedding a lot like don't leave that out because that's not a deal breaker to me that's not a deal breaker because i don't wear my wigs for long anyway so if it has a little shedding but it, the quality is essentially good then i'm still gonna get the wig but do not just completely act like that is not a factor like the wig shed is not a factor that the color may be coming out just things like that make sure you incorporate that in your videos but you have your own reputation you're not a pet to these companies you have your own business your own platform to keep up so do not just lie to your subscribers because you're basically selling them false information what if they go and buy the wig and they realize all these things are wrong with it and you didn't know that you didn't express that in your video now they're going to be looking at you like okay i trusted you i spent my money on this and you basically lie in a way they're not going to they don't care about the company for real. they care about who they heard the company from oh everybody's talking about this week for instance if one of my favorite influencers are raving about a product and i go get it and it's not living up to their standards i'm going to be mad if they sit there and talk about oh this is the perfect wig and i try the wig on and it's just not giving this too small the hair is just not good quality. I'm gonna look like look at them like, okay, you just basically do that for money. You're not caring about how your subscribers feel. You're not caring about who is gonna come get this wig after you. You just want the money. Yes, the money is great, but you also want to incorporate the cons in the videos because you don't want to be a liar. But basically, that are just the first steps I have to this whole wig influencing process. Like I said, to sum it up, you want to get your platform. You want to make a video. You want to pay to get paid. You want to invest to get your outcomes. You don't want to just start a channel off and be like, oh, I love wigs. You're not going to get any wigs. They want to actually see that you know how to do a wig before they send you a wig. So get those videos out. Get that content out. Show them that this is something that you like to do with prayer and some hope that things will start coming to you because I never expected that to happen. But I use these different tricks that I use in this video to really start getting those wigs coming to me, getting those emails coming to me without me going out and typing up a whole, oh, I do this, like, it's fine. You can, you can actually reach out to a company, but I actually have never done that before because I am just not that bold. I will be there one day, but I haven't got there yet. So I've just, these are just people who are coming straight to me and not me to them. But in a nutshell, that is how I get all my free wigs. That is how I became an influencer, a mini wig influencer. Obviously, I'm not 100% there. I don't have all the videos in the world or all these wig companies, but I did get started and I did have a few. Don't even have that many subscribers. My platforms are not that huge. But you are so amazing for tuning in and listening to what I had to bring to the table. I hope that this helped you, small influencers and even big influencers as well. But I hope this has helped you in the way that I intended it to. My socials will be on the screen and in the description box. Make sure you tune into my channel for more content. And if you have anything that you want me to speak on, I will. I'm your girl for that. Have an amazing, blessed day, and I will see you in the next one.